Hey, what's going on YouTube? Krosama here, and I'm going to take a look at the Gundam Seltzam, which I never really seen this in the show because I haven't watched the show. Uh, but nonetheless, I think it looks like a really cool mobile suit, and I'm super excited to go ahead and crack this open and start building it. Uh, but first, I do want to say thank you to NewTypeHQ.com uh, for sponsoring this video, and if you want to pick up this kit, you can go to their site and get it yourself and also use that code Krosama for 10% off. Now we're just looking at the front cover art. Uh, I know some people had like maybe a little bit of disappointment because it just is not, I don't know, as dynamic as maybe some other villainous mobile suits have been in the past. I still think it's an okay looking front cover, but I do concur that it could have been a lot better. Now this is piloted by the Mask Man who I don't know. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm guessing it's a villainous character like Shaw or something like that. Um, but eh, you can let me know in the comment section below. And this thing is just looking super unique with like just the extended arm right here. You do have a lance on this side. You are going to have a kind of like a uh, folded out like smoothbore uh, cannon on this side with a shield. And the head is just super unique. I mean, I, I love everything about it. It sure is a strange mobile suit. And this is number nine in the line of the Build Divers Re-Rise series. Now for price, this did cost about $18 on my end, but I think it's gonna be going roughly between $22 and $25 for everyone else outside you know, Japan, China, and Korea. And take a look on the side, you are going to see the arm extender right there, um, uh, like reaching out pose and just some really nice poses overall showcasing what it can do. Um, it is going to have the cannon right there, it is going to have the lance and it can actually utilize it in the extended arm, which is pretty cool. Um, other than that, I mean, it's showing some of the uh, external weapons and sets that you can get, you know, I, I don't really care for it, but if you really want like the justice parts, eh, you can go ahead and attach it onto it. And this is just going to be a front and rear shot. And if you want to read all this, you sure can. I actually read it ahead of time so that way I can know a little bit more about this suit before I just jump into this review. And let's start it off with runner A1. So this runner is going to be, um, it's going to have the title of the actual mobile suit right here. And it's going to have some uh, navy blue as well as this nice fluorescent orange, I would say. And it's just looking really good, really solid. A lot of parts just going to be for the uh, little cannon right here. You got the shield as well as the lance. And runner A2 is going to have more of the lance on this side. You're going to have some yellow parts right there that's going to be for the V-fin. And just more parts over here that's going to be predominantly for the extended arm. Uh, you are going to have the two thumbs right here, which I would honestly say looks a little bit weird. And then some more navy blue right over here. Runner B1 and B2, or B2 is a smaller one. And we're just taking a look at it up close, you are going to see it's kind of lacking in some surface detail, not like a lot is going on, which I don't think it's too bad, but it is, I don't know, you might have to do a little bit of scribing if you're just going to want like extra panel lines or any kind of surface detail on this. And this we're going to take a look at is E2 and E1, uh, E2 just being the top half right here of E1. Really nice blue, I think it looks really fine. Uh, nothing really too spectacular here, I mean you're going to have parts which I'm assuming is the legs and then you got the chest part right here which looks fine. Um, but yeah, I think it looks okay. Now what's pretty interesting is that on some of these runners it's actually saying Mark III. That's pretty cool but I don't think that's any promise that they are going to make a full, you know, brand new Mark III mobile suit in the near future. It could happen, but, you know, if the Ultron uh, has, has told us anything, it, we might be waiting a long time. But regardless, uh, we are going to have some more runners right here. Now this runner is pretty much just going to be like inner frame, and that's going to be about it. I do have this part, but it, it fell off, so uh, nothing really too spectacular, but yeah, it's just going to be a lot of uh, inner frame. And the last runner is going to be a set of double D's, and they are going to be of nice, like, dark red, maroon, whatever you want to call it. It looks really good, and it's just going to be for the feet and just some sporadic parts across the actual kit itself. But this is also going to say Mark III. Next, we are going to have a polycap sheet, an extremely small sticker sheet, and lastly, we're going to have the manual. So, nothing crazy, it's a manual. <laughs> 
Uh, but you are going to have the color over here, which is just going to show you the weapons. Uh, I'm going to have another slide right over here with some more color. Looks good. It's just going to be more like, you know, showing you transformation for the, uh, the little weapon up here. It's going to show you some stuff for the arm. Um, that's pretty much it. Don't, don't really see anything else going on with this manual, but taking a look just on the back side. Here we're going to have just some more poses, which looks good. It's all going to be the same stuff from the side of the box. Uh, and then over here, you are going to have the color guide. So if you are interested in knowing what colors is going to go where and what you know mixtures are going to have to make, this is going to be really good as a reference point. But that's it for me, guys. So I'm really happy to get started on this kit. I'm going to get started on today and i probably get done maybe around mid afternoon on Saturday, which is pretty much today. Uh, so I'll get started on this and hopefully get this review out to you guys um, somewhere soon. But I'll be seeing you in the next video. Bye-bye.